Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope it's as nice where you are as it is here because we're having a beautiful day here. So I'm going to do a little bit of fiberglass trimming on my one piece front end here. If you look, you'll see I've got some lines scribed. This line here is at one inch. This line is at inch and three quarters. I think I'm gonna start with the one inch line because I don't want to go too far because if I take off too much, there's nothing I can do about that. And then I've got some lines scribed around the chassis here just to help make it look a little bit straighter. If you look right now, it, it actually comes down a little bit on this side. So I scribed a line that's even with the push bar on here. So I'm gonna take the front end off. I'm gonna take it back to the backyard and uh, clip those pieces off. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. When I do that, I'm gonna be using my grinder here. This is a, uh, a metal cutoff wheel. This is what I'm gonna to use to cut the fiberglass. It goes through it like, like butter, literally. And then to clean it up and round the edges, I'm gonna use this, uh, what they call a flapper wheel. So I'll use that for some of the cleanup. And then when I'm done with the flapper wheel, I'm gonna use this file. The only reason I'm gonna use the file is the flapper wheel will leave some fibers and whatnot, so it'll have a little bit of a stringy look. If I go around all the edges with this file, this file will take off the fibers. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but I want to share these with you. These are what hold on my fiberglass one-piece front end. I bought these from CarTech. This, is, this here is a 5 16th stainless steel socket head countersunk screw. It's got a nylon lock nut on it. This comes with this piece. This piece is made out of like a rubber or a polyurethane or whatever. It's got a nice contoured surface on the outside. But the nice part is it's got this step in it. This is a this makes it so that you drill a three quarter inch hole in the fiberglass. And on mine, it's actually a little bit thicker than the fiberglass. So when you draw it in there and snug it up a little bit, you don't make it real tight. It kind of expands out a little bit and grabs the fiberglass. And it makes it so that it holds, it holds the fiberglass firmly, but there's, there's a little bit of, uh, of give and flex in there. So it allows your, your fiberglass piece to move around a little bit. They're really nice. They're really nice. Really good for holding on fiberglass if you're not going to be doing like uh, Zeus quick release fasteners or something like that. Now if you guys look on here, you'll see these little fibers. That's what's left after the grinder and the flapper wheel. So that's what I'll clean up with the uh, file. That'll leave you with a nicer edge, something a little easier to work with, and you won't get as many glass fibers in your hands as you're working on it. So that was just a, a real short little video showing how I trim the fiberglass. I did it out in the backyard. Uh, if I was doing it anywhere where the uh, the dust was actually going to be coming back at me, I would have worn a dust mask, but doing it out in the backyard where there's a little bit of breeze and if I was just cutting a little bit like that, 
I usually don't worry about that, but keep that in mind. You don't want to be breathing too much of that stuff. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped you guys. Hope I'll see you in the next video. Take care.